Sawyer. I'm a mother of a 19-year-old college student and I'm the marketing and event manager here at the Fayetteville Observer. Life advice that I would give to someone your age would be to think first before you speak. In this social media age, it's very easy for us to you know, type out what we're thinking. Not always the best thing to do. So think before you speak, whether it be to a person, whether it be through social media, it can get you into a lot of trouble and it's better to have a well thought out response to something than a knee jerk reaction. Uh, name's Juan, I work at a local publishing company in the IT department. Uh, asked to say a couple of words on the video. Um, have advice, you either follow the flow of everyone else's path, create your own path, but whatever you do, stay the hell out of the way because somebody's always trying to get somewhere. You're either part of the problem or part of the solution. <laughs> Bottom line, that's how I got where I'm at. I'm Jason and I work for the newspaper and my advice my random piece of advice for just anybody would be to not try to do things on your own, but to trust God, just to know that there's a greater outcome and a larger purpose in life than <laughs> what you've got going on, and that you, you can't really determine. You can't change the future based on your own um, path or whatever. That's my advice. Hi, I'm Scott Embry. I'm the Director of Advertising at the Fayetteville Observer. And I wanted to give you some advice as an uh, upcoming graduate from Methodist University. Um, first of all, congratulations. You put the time in. Uh, you've made it to this point. I want to tell you, though, that I've had an opportunity to work with a lot of college graduates, both interviewed them and hired them and, and have trained them throughout my career. And the one thing that piece of advice that I would give you is be ready to work hard when you get out of college and put the skills that you have learned to work for you. Um, I've seen this throughout my career that often college graduates come in and they think their education is enough, but your education is just a door opening uh, tool for you. The ones that work hardest always get promoted quicker they're more successful in their jobs, and they make themselves valuable to the company. And that is really the secret to being successful. Charlie Zeno, and I'm the Advertising Sales Manager at the Fayetteville Observer. The question put to me was general life advice. <clears throat> what I would say to any young person who's looking for life advice is be true to yourself. Uh, whatever you do, um, just um, never compromise your integrity. Uh, do what's going to make you happy as long as it doesn't interfere with uh, compromising anybody else uh, and uh, seek out do what you love seek out doing what you love be true to yourself be true to yourself because that is all you have and uh, don't get uh, caught up in other people's drama it's not your business <laughs> mind your business <laughs> and um, communicate with people uh, and stop texting. <laughs> because we are coming up with a country full of people that don't even know how to communicate with each other. So that's my advice for life. It would probably take me half the day to do that. So that's the important one. Hello, McLaurin. Uh, my advice to anyone in terms of life is to keep a positive mindset about who and what you are. Remember your only real competition is with who you were yesterday. It's about you, not about anybody else. How you do that, H-O-W. Honest, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. It's bad when you lie to other people. It's even worse when you lie to yourself. So be honest about what your intentions are for your life. Oh, open to the fact that there's a better way other than the way that you're currently doing it. So, remember, always be open to opportunities, to new advice, to new information. The hardest part is W, willing. You've got to be willing to do what others won't do in order to have things that others won't have. And that's not just things. That's peace, love, joy, etc. So that's how you do it. That's my advice to everyone. Carol McLaurin, signing out. I'm Eddie Harris, a designer here at the Fable Observer. Uh, just say always give everything your best and uh, don't procrastinate. Always make sure you Give everything, you know, 100%. That way, when you look back,
back, you, you never have any regrets. You always make sure you try hard and uh, it always pays off in the end. Hi, I'm Catherine, and my advice is that you should get out and travel and explore different cultures, um, see how different people live, and it'll make you appreciate what you have. And also to have a dog because dogs are pretty great creatures. <laughs> my name is Ashley, and my life advice would be be happy because nobody likes a negative Nancy. And that is my life advice. Hey. My life advice would likely be to invest in the things that matter. Um, for a lot of people that might be um, family, it might be career, it might be religion, um, but to spend your time in things that are going to matter in five or ten years. Uh, I'm a, a mom and a wife and um, a, a professional and my time's not spent worrying about dishes and worrying about um, what things might happen 20 years from now. I focus on what great things did we do today to spend time with our child? What things did I do to make myself better, to make my family better? And um, I don't sweat things that, uh, that don't seem important. Um, so invest in the things that matter. Uh, and you have to do a little research um, and self-reflection to find out what matters to you.